Here in Memphis, we also saw that historic rainfall over the past few days. This led to some major flooding here Saturday. Now, the Memphis District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is moving to phase two of their plan to aid in the fight against that flooding. How this all happens as homeowners in the area are fighting to keep their properties safe. ABC 24 Scott Mattis reports. This is so crazy. These are the dangerous flood waters at the Wolf River Greenway in East Memphis Sunday. Water's so high it nearly covers the entire entrance gate. Looks to me like it right now is 10 feet high. Not quite as dramatic, but high water levels across Shelby County Sunday can be seen from Millington to Cordova and everywhere in between. The Army Corps of Engineers Memphis District has moved to phase two of flood response in the St. Francis Basin, stepping up monitoring and support for West Tennessee. The Corps is working with local partners to manage flood risks and provide assistance, including pumps and sandbags. And they tell me while the Memphis Metro continues to be under flood advisories for at least the next 20 days, they've helped prevent billions in damages over the years. But they strongly urge Memphians to stay informed as no system can guarantee total flood protection. As is evident at a putt-putt golf course off Summer Avenue, both the course itself and its rear parking lot Sunday are completely flooded, as is a Youth Village's parking lot off Shelby Oaks. This well, those I spoke with Sunday say, they know the massive flooding across the area still is not done. What's your best advice to people out there? I don't know. Everybody had to just keep an eye watching. In Memphis, I'm Scott Mattis.